All right, so in this video, we are going to assume that all you have is a PC and a web browser. Uh, you don't have any uh, development environment set up. You don't have a way to do anything uh, that you may have seen us do in the videos in regards to uh, building websites, browsing around databases, using MySQL, PHP MyAdmin, creating PHP files, executing PHP files on a server, things of that nature. So if you have uh, no environment of your own and you want a quick, easy way to get set up in a hosted environment uh, for about a dollar a month, that's what we're going to show how to get set up uh, with right now. So to start, we're going to bounce over to the web host that I've been using for a long time. Uh, they used to be called one on onecom now they're ionos.com. We're going to go down to this web hosting plan, starting at $1 a month, and that's really all it's going to cost. We're going to sign up for a new account right now, and you'll see it's going to be 12 bucks for the year. That'll include a domain name, web space, email addresses, databases, everything else that uh, you would need to uh, work along with some of these videos we've built. So we're going to go to web hosting. We're going to choose our plan. We're going to choose this plus plan for a dollar a month. We're going to hit continue. Uh, it's going to ask you for a domain name. You can pick anything you want. I'm going to pick 10minutewebdev.com. We're going to hit search, see if that's available. Look at that, it is. You can add that to cart for free. And after that, we are going to hit continue. We are going to skip through the uh, other things they're trying to sell us along the way. And it looks like uh, it's $13. We're going to delete this domain guard. I don't know how that got added. That was a dollar a month. So we have two items. We've got web hosting for 12 months. And we have a domain name for one year. We will hit continue. Now it's going to have you fill out this form. And obviously, you're going to want to use... Uh, your information here. I'm going to fill this out, and through the magic of editing, I'm probably going to try to bypass some of this. All right, with this form filled out, I'm going to continue. We don't need it to save that info. Continue to payment options. I have read and agree to terms. So here again, 12 bucks. That's going to be for the full year. We're going to use a credit card. All right, and just like that, our uh, account is set up. It looks like our products are ready. We're gonna hit get started. And here you can see the menu options we have. We can see the domains we bought, if we wanted to look at email addresses, hosting, other things of that nature. Today we're gonna look at domains and then hosting, because what we wanna do is take our domain name we just ordered and then point it to a uh, folder within our web space, which would be the home page of our website. So if we go into domains and SSL, we should be able to see 10minutewebdev.com. And you'll see here the uh, confirmation of contract details required. They send an email as soon as you register a domain name. So you need to pop over into your email inbox, click this confirm email address. Should only take a second. I confirm the email address. So now, if we go back over here, we should be able to refresh the page, and it says domain not in use. So what do we want to do to use the domain? We want to point it to a folder in our web space. And to do that, we're going to go back to the home link. We're going to go to hosting. And here we have our web space. I'm going to click use web space. We're going to create a new folder. It takes a second to populate. And we're going to call it 10 Minute Web Dev. And with our uh, folder created, we are going to map our domain name to that folder. We're just going to go back to the main menu, domains and SSL. We can go to 10 minute web dev. We can hit use your domain, connect to web space. And now we should see that we can choose this folder we just created. So now anything we put into that folder will be at the root of our domain.
So if we go back to domains, we can see in this, I guess we'll take a minute to refresh. Let's refresh and see if it pops in. So the destination web space, and it should be bound to that folder we had just created. So now with our domain map to that web space folder, we can go to that web space and add a index file. So to do that, we can go to our menu. I believe it's under hosting. We can go into our web space. So if we upload the index.html or index.php file to this directory with the domain mapped, we should be able to see that, uh, that file. So just for test purposes, let's just upload a generic uh, HTML template, or not even a template, just a blank HTML page. And I think for this, we're just going to pull a bootstrap HTML simple get started bootstrap page. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to open just a blank notepad document. We're going to paste that in. We're just going to save it into downloads. And we are going to change its name to index.php. So this file is what we're now going to go back over here and upload. This is not an efficient way of uploading your website files, but it's going to work for this demo. So now we have index.php. So now if we go to demonweb.com, here is our full HTML file on a publicly facing domain name that we uh, are hosting at Jonas.com that we signed up for uh, less than 10 minutes ago. So just that quick, you can uh, begin publishing your own websites and doing other things. All right, since we uh, did just show you how to use the web space explorer to upload a photo, I'm also going to uh, real quickly just talk about a better way to do it. There's a handful of ways. Uh, one other way I can show real quick using everything that Ionos gives us here is uh, the ability to set up an FTP account that will upload directly, or SFTP rather, directly to your web directory. So if we go back to our hosting SFTP, we can hit configure. Uh, so the username and host information that'll be available once we uh, create this account. We're just gonna give myself a clue as to what it is. And now we're gonna change the directory. So this will be the default directory that whatever gets uploaded to gets uploaded to. If you wanted to create one FTP account to serve all your web sites, uh, you could do that just when you connect to the SFTP. Through the FTP client, be sure to designate the default directory, otherwise it'll dump everything into the home directory. I'm just going to set this up to go straight into 10 minute web, web dev. So anything I upload via SFTP using this info will go straight into 10 minute web dev. So if I click save, you will see this will get created and it should give us the host name, username, connection type, things of that nature. So we could use something like FileZilla or uh, Notepad++ has an FTP program uh, plugin. Visual Studio Code also has a pretty good FTP plugin. So here's the information you will then need to uh, access your web host. So then you could set up FileZilla, do development locally, and then push the entire website all at once without having to use the web space explorer from Ionos to upload things one at a time. But this is how you would uh, be slightly more efficient in uploading your files. So that should do it for this video. Uh, feel free to ask any questions, comments, anything else you'd like, or uh, check out any other videos to see how we do other things, like how do we set up FileZilla, how do you configure a database, things like that.